So my name is Aquasta. I am flying with Spoopy Newbies, which is Brave's wormhole arm. Uh, the purpose of today's class is to show how to map out wormhole space using Tripwire. Uh, this is a software that allows us to keep track of what signatures are, show where statics are, um, and really just kind of help make odds and ends of wormhole space in general. So there's going to be a little bit of set, a little bit of setup in the initial phases um, before we undock, and then we're going to undock and go to a wormhole and make sure that our setup is working. So open that up, and we should see the tripwire window. It should look like on the stream. I guess you should log in first. So once you're into Tripwire and your screen kind of looks like mine, uh, throw an X in fleet so that I know not to move too quickly. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do now is we need to choose our mask. The mask is how you can share Tripwire with other users, and that's really what makes Tripwire powerful, is that if I want to be looking for relic sites and Dunk Dinkle wants to be looking for a wormhole to Jita and our FCs want to be looking for a wormhole to somewhere to get fights, we can all share the same tripwire data um, and we all get what we want by scanning. So we're all able to share our work. The first way to do this is by clicking on your character name in the top right, then add. Choose who you want to be, authorize, you're in. So that's adding yourself to the mask. Next, grab the gears in the top right. Under account settings, uh, in Spoopy Newbies we use the corporation tab. For now, each of you should probably use just private. Um, there is a Brave Collective tab that broadcasts information to everyone who's on that mask. For now, we'll just do private because otherwise you'll be updating over each other and it'll get really confusing. So choose the private mask. Uh, then click Save. Now you're in the window, so the next thing is we need to set up the system actually tracking where we are. And it's not exactly intuitive, but we need to click these little yellow, these little arrows in the top left where it says follow my in-game system. Click them so they turn yellow. And then click on the A in the middle panel so that it turns yellow as well for toggle auto mapper. So now Tripwire knows who we are, it knows where we are. And the way Tripwire works is that if I jump from one system to another that's not Stargate, um, Tripwire will update and assume there's a wormhole that connects the two. And so that's how it keeps track of where you are, and that's how it builds out the chain. The last thing to do is we need to actually create the page of the map that we're going to go for. So you can imagine in wormhole space, if I am living in one hole, but... I've got alts in another hole, and I'm trying to evict a third hole. I might want to have separate maps for each hole. Um, being in case space, it's a little bit different, but still a good practice. So the first idea here is to click the little plus button where it says New Tab. Click it, name it whatever you want. We'll name it Master. Click the case space and then click include Eve Scout's Thera chain. And that spits out a new tab. Okay, so now before we leave, the first thing, let's just do one last check. We should in the top left corner see the system that we're in. Um, and in the top right corner, it should say the character that we're flying with. Okay, it seems like we're ready to go. So if everybody could please undock. So today we're going to be heading towards PTAC 2. So if everybody could please align BTAC 9.
Okay, and we're going to jump into Pika 2. Okay, so Starburst off the gate, cloak up, safe up. Uh, while we start to look for this thing. So, uh, this JCC tech, this is a wormhole in the system. And now it's time to start showing kind of the powers of Tripwire. So, we go to our probe scanning window. Click anywhere inside the window. Control A to select everything. Control C. Now we can go to Tripwire, click anywhere inside Tripwire, and paste it in. So you can hit all the combat anomalies, all the ore anomalies, and then your one unknown signature. So let's drop probes and start to look for uh, this JCC signature. Once you've got it, if you want to just warp to it, but hold on this side of the hole, please. Okay, while we're finishing up, uh, let's so show how to get this into actual tripwire. So again, we go to our probe scanner window, control A, control C, go to tripwire, control V, and now we can see that a little box has appeared linked to PTEC2. So tripwire now knows there's a wormhole in this system, but it doesn't know where it goes. A good idea when you're checking this is to upload the type of wormhole um, while you're creating the map. We can see that it is a wormhole R943. So we double click on Tripwire and it opens up. We enter R943. Press save and we know it's a C2. We also know that it's end of life, so we can click life critical. And now it has a little dashed line and update the timer. Okay, so let's jump this hole. All right, so now inside the hole, we can see that Tripwire has automatically updated to know that there's a connection from PTAC2 to J122732. Also, it gives us some really useful information, like it says that J122732 has a high sec static and a class 1 static, which means that no matter what, there will always be a connection from this wormhole to a high sec location and to a C1 wormhole. So very useful. Now it's a good idea to kind of just throw everything in right as you jump in the hole. So again, control A, control C, control V. And you get the list of all of the wormholes, um, of all the SIGs. The problem is that Tripwire, and at this moment yourself, you don't know what that wormhole is. So you have one that's just question mark, question, question mark. Um, and you need to like link that manually to this exit wormhole. The easiest way to do this, if there's nothing on vScan and you're pretty sure the hole is safe, uh, is just to drop probes, click this center current formation on your ship, analyze, and then whatever hole gets scanned, that's going to be your exit hole. So all that we did to fix this is we clicked up here, and enter GHA520.
so it now automatically knows that GHA 520 is the wormhole. But with both of those scanned, again, I'm going to go Control A, Control C, go back to Tripwire, Control V, and now we see that there's two extra little boxes. If we look at the wormhole, the MPA SIG is a Z647. So again, we can go back to Tripwire. Update it, and we can see that this wormhole takes us into a C1. Uh, if you are in EVE, You can see that it says that it's leading to unknown parts of space. Um, that could be a C1, that could be a C2, that could be a C3. If you're around wormholes enough, you learn to read them by the color. Otherwise, tripwire, like, really easy, just gives you the type. Um, so that's valuable if you're running around wormholes. Great. In that case, uh, let's jump into this wormhole, please. So we jumped the hole, and we can see that because I had two wormholes open, Tripwire just knows that I went through a wormhole. It doesn't know which signature I actually jumped through. So I need to choose that I went through the MPA signature, click OK, and it updates it all to back to me again. Let's just crash this hole and jump back out. Once you've got it in the SIGs and you've got Tripwire updated, let's just jump back out. And then please take this warp to FPR. Okay, so I'm on the FPI hole. I'm not sure who I lost, but you can whoop to me. If we go back to Tripwire, we see that there's one hole that we're looking for. So anytime that we jump through this wormhole, it's going to update. So let's jump into HiveSec. Well, please jump the hole. So now we're in high sec, but we see the tripwire has gone a little bit funky and it's thrown an extra system out to the side. The reason for this is that tripwire is kind of set up to live in for if you're living in wormhole space. Um, and it doesn't really like to make multiple connections to K space on the same chain. Uh, if you were living in J12732, My map would look like this, uh, so it puts the system at the top and then it connects everything down to this. And you can kind of see that the chain would fall out after it. Um, so that's one of the limitations of, of Tripwire, and it's why most some case based people like Siggy or Pathfinder. Um, for me, living in wormhole space, Tripwire is the go-to for us. So with that, let's jump back into 
the wormhole and then I will warp us to the out hole and hopefully it's still there and hasn't collapsed.